inserting nodes into linked list. After a list object has been created, a new node can be inserted in the beginning, in the middle or at the end of the list. Different algorithms are used to handle each of these cases. Let us explore in detail the steps involved in these algorithms. Inserting node at front of list. In order to add node at the front of a list, we create a new node and set its link pointer to point to the pre-existing first node. The front is normally identified by the head pointer. Thus, the head pointer is reset so that it points to the new node. Figure shows an example of a list consisting of four node containing letters A, B, C and D to which a new node Z is added at the front. The end of list is marked by a cross. Next figure shows the code fragment for the method insert front which accepts a character string for the node value. Create a new node and adjust pointers so that the new node becomes the front pointer. Briefly it performs these steps. First of all a new node is created. Then data is copied into node. Then set pointer to point to first node. Finally readjust the head pointer. Inserting a node at end of list. In order to add a node at the tail we use a pointer which is initially set to point to the first node. Then the list is traversed until the pointer points to the last node. A new node is created and the link part of the tail node of original list is reset to point to new node. Figure shows the steps for inserting a tail node. Next figure shows the code fragment for the method insert end which implements the procedure for inserting a tail node. It performs these steps. First of all, traverse the list. Then, create a new node. Then, copy data into new node. Set linked pointer to null. Finally, set pointer of tail node. Inserting node into the middle of the list. A new node can be inserted into the interior of a linked list which either precedes or succeeds a given node. The insertion algorithm is different for each of these cases. We first examine the case when new node is to be inserted after a given node. As before, we use a temporary pointer to traverse the list until the given node is reached. A new node is created and the linked pointer of the given node is reset to point to the new node. The link pointer of the new node is set to point to the node which is next to the given node. Figure depicts the steps involved in the insertion procedures. A new node Z is inserted after the node C. Inserting a node before a given node the algorithm for inserting a node before a given node is slightly more complex than the node for inserting after a specified node. The reason is that in placing a new node in correct position we need to readjust the link point of the node which is to precede the new node. Thus we have to identify not only the given node but also the node that precedes the given node. For this purpose, we use two pointers to scan the list. The first pointer is moved to identify the specified node. The second pointer trails immediately before the first pointer. In this way, when the first pointer ultimately reaches the given node, the second pointer points to the preceding node. We can use the second pointer 
to point to adjust the link pointer of the preceding node to point the new node. And then use the first pointer to reset the pointer of the new node to point to the given node. The procedure for inserting a node before a given node is depicted in figure. As will be seen, a new node Z is inserted before the node C. Observe that two pointers are used. One points to C and other to the preceding node B. The code for insertion algorithm is given in the demonstration that follows. Deleting nodes from a linked list A major advantage of a linked list data structure is that it allows judicious use of storage space. A node which becomes redundant can be purged to release the allocated space. As with the insertion, the deletion operation can also be applied to the front, middle or last node of a list. The algorithm varies slightly in each case. We now examine these cases separately. Deleting a front node In order to delete a front node of a list, we create a pointer which is set to identify the first node. The head pointer is then moved to point to the next node. Using the pointer, we remove the first node. Figure illustrates the procedure for deleting the front node of a sample list containing A, B, C and D. Deleting Tail Node For deleting a tail node, we use two pointers so that in traversing the list, the second pointer trail immediately before the first pointer. Thus, at the end of the traversal, the first pointer points to the tail node and the second pointer points to the node that precedes the tail node. We use the second pointer to set the link pointer of the preceding node to null value so as to sever its link with the tail node. Then, using the first pointer, we remove the tail node. The deletion procedure is illustrated in figure. Deleting a middle node the algorithm for deleting a middle node is essentially the same as for deleting a tail node. We use two pointers to scan the list, such that one pointer immediately follows the other. After the given node has been identified by the first pointer, we remove its link to next node. Using same pointer, we set the link pointer of the preceding node to point to the node that is next to the given node. Finally, using the first pointer, we delete the specified node. Figure depicts the procedure for deleting a node C of a linked list that initially contains letters A, B, C and D. Traversing a linked list In traversing a list, we visit each node exactly once. Traversing is performed when we need to access information contained in the nodes of a linked list. Suppose we want to print the list or determine the size of a list, then traversal would be the natural procedure. In order to traverse a list, we normally use a pointer, which is initially set to point to the first node. After the first node has been processed, the pointer is set to move to the second node by using the link pointer of the first node. This process is continued until a node is encountered with link pointer containing a null value. We have already seen the use of traversal procedure in performing insertion and deletion. Figure shows another example of traversal algorithm. The code implements a method LSize which returns size of a list with pointer head pointing to the front element. Briefly, these steps are involved. A counter is initialized to zero. A node pointer TEMP is used to point the first node. A loop is set up to scan the list. In each cycle, the counter is incremented by one. At the end, 
the function returns the count value. Sorting a linked list. Sorting is another important operation which is sometimes required to be performed on a linked list. In order to sort a list, we systematically compare the contents of a pair of nodes and swap them if necessary to bring them in the given order. The important point to bear in mind is that only information fields of the nodes are exchanged. The link pointers of the corresponding nodes remain undisturbed. Figure lists the code for the sort method. Briefly, it performs these steps. Two node pointers P and Q are used to identify a pair of nodes. A nested loop is used to perform comparison and swap the elements to bring the node values in ascending order. A temporary array T is used to hold a data value to be swapped. Searching a linked list We can perform a linear search on a linked list. In this operation, we start with first element of the list and systematically compare the contents of nodes with the value to be searched for. The operation is terminated when a match is found. If the list is already sorted, the search process can be abandoned after the node value is found to be greater than the value to be searched. If the list is not sorted, we would need to scan the list up to tail node. It is emphasized that unlike an array, the elements of a linked list cannot be accessed directly. Thus, an efficient sorting method called binary search which uses a middle element cannot be applied to a list. In the case of the list, there is no simple way of finding middle element. Performance of linked list operation We now examine the time efficiency of the common operations associated with a linked list. We assume that the list consists of n nodes. Remember, in insertion and deletion operations, we simply readjust the link pointers. The information portion of a node is not affected. The modification of link pointers is not an expensive operation because no movement of stored data takes place. The efficiency of the operation depends on the number of times the list nodes are traversed. When a node is inserted at the front, Running time does not depend on the size of the list. Thus, the operation has running time O1. If a node is inserted at the end, the nodes would need to be scanned n times. And at each step, one comparison of link pointer is made. As such, the running time of operation for inserting a tail node is ON. If a middle node is inserted on an average of n slash 2, comparisons of the link parts will be made. Thus, efficiency of inserting a middle node is O n slash 2 or equivalently O n. The deletion operation essentially involves the same steps as with the insertion, except that two pointers are used. Thus, in general, two comparisons are made. The deletion of a tail node has efficiency O to N or simply ignoring the multiplicative factor. In sorting a list, we use two nested loops. The outer loop is performed N times. In each iteration, we compare the pointers and set the next value for the index of the inner loop. In general, N minus 1 comparisons are performed in first iteration, N minus 2 in second iteration, and 1 comparison in the last iteration. Thus, altogether, the number of comparisons is as shown. The sort operation has a time efficiency or equivalently. Advantages and Disadvantages of Link List 
The linked lists have several advantages over other data structures for storing data collection. In the light of preceding discussions, we can see that a single linked list has these merits. The size of store space can be adjusted dynamically at runtime according to a particular application requirement. The insertion and deletion operations are comparatively fast because unlike an array, the movement of data values within the storage cells is not required. Instead, only the pointers are readjusted. List traversal is extremely fast. The disadvantages associated with the linked list are a linked list has an overhead of pointers which occupy additional storage space. The elements of a linked list cannot be accessed directly. Instead, one needs to scan the list in order to reach a particular element.